In order to download AOL Mail application for your iPhone, first, make sure to be connected to a Wi-Fi or a cellular data. Next, tap Open App Store from the App Drawer. In the search bar, type in AOL Mail and search. This one's the app we are looking for. Tap on the Get button in order to begin the downloading process for AOL Mail application. Now, your application should begin its download. Wait until it finishes in order to use the application to its fullest. The AOL Mail app gives you access to all of the best of AOL, including Mail's innovative features and settings. With the application installed on your mobile device, Devices, you'll be able to add accounts, send mail, organize your mailbox, and so much more. The app is available for both Android or iOS devices. Once the application gets downloaded on your mobile device, you'll be able to use it right away. Soon after the app gets downloaded, tap the open button popping up in order to launch the app open. Allow necessary permissions and go ahead and log into your AOL Mail account or create an account for yourself. That is how you can easily download AOL Mail application for your iPhone. Now let's get started. In order to register or sign up for a new AOL Mail account, first make sure that you've downloaded the application on your device. Once you download the app, tap it on to launch it on. The first interface of AOL Mail account will look like this. Go to the human icon at the upper left hand corner and now tap on Sign In. This will open up a web browser. Simply go ahead and enter your information if you already have an account for AOL Mail. But if you don't have an account yet, you can scroll down and tap on Create an Account button. This will take you to the sign up area for AOL Mail account. Simply type in your first name into the first text box and then type in your last name on the next. On the next field, enter an email address for AOL Mail account. Once you enter an email address, type in the password on the next field that you'd like to use. While creating a password, make sure that your password is strong and you can remember your password right away. Now on the next field, choose your country code from the drop-down and enter your mobile number. Make sure that you enter the mobile number that you have an access to and enter your birthday information on the next field. Enter your year, day and month and finally tap the continue button at the bottom. You can choose to save your password so that you won't have to type it in again and again next time you log into your account or you can tap on not now. Soon after you do that, you'll need to verify your phone number. Tap on text me a verification code and you'll receive a verification code on your mobile number that you just entered. Wait for the verification code and once it arrives, type it in and tap on verify. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to create a new account for AOL. That is how you sign up quick and easy right away. Like most other email services, AOL Mail also gives you the way to block unwanted emails. You can do this on a web browser or using your mobile app. Start off by tapping open your AOL Mail app and make sure that you're logged in. If you want to block emails on AOL Mail, tap an email from a sender that you'd like to block. Let me tap on this email right here. Now, once you open up the email, tap on the More button at the bottom right-hand corner. Select Mark as Spam from the expanded pop-up. Soon after you do that, you'll receive this kind of an interface. You can effectively block senders on your mobile phone by marking messages as Spam for AOL Mail. Repeat this process for any other emails you want to block as well. Once you mark an email as a spam, the future emails from that sender should be deleted automatically. If you want to revert that situation and you'd like to go back to unblocking email from that contact, then simply tap on your inbox icon at the bottom left hand corner and scroll down and tap on spam. Tap on the email that you'd like to remove from this list and tap on more at the bottom right. Select not spam from the expanded pop-up and that is how you can move it back to your inbox again. I hope you learned how to block an email on AOL mail that you don't want to receive anymore. Open up a web browser and in the web address bar type in mail.aol.com and press enter. Make sure that you're logged into your AOL Mail account. If not, log in with your credentials. Once you're in, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. At the left hand side menu, you'll be able to see all of the options that you can work with and all of the folders that you created will be displayed on this page. If you want to delete or remove a folder, simply point over to the folder and click on the gear button right next to it. Now, click on the delete option in the pop-up and 
Today I'm going to show you how to adjust font size on AOL Mail using iPhone. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet. Also, press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming updates from us. Tap open AOL Mail app from the app drawer and make sure you're logged in. If you open up an email from your inbox or any other folder on AOL Mail, you'll be able to see the regular size of the text or the content that you received. If you want to adjust the size of font on an email, simply tap on the AA icon at the upper right hand corner from this page. Now you can choose by dragging the circle and find the best font size for your mail so that you can read it easily. That is how it can be done. I hope you learned how you can easily adjust font size from your email inbox or any other email folders on AOL Mail. If you change your AOL Mail password, tap open your AOL Mail app from the app drawer and make sure that you are logged into your account. Once you're logged in, tap on the icon in circle at the upper left hand corner. From the expanded menu, tap on Manage Accounts. Now, the account that you are using in AOL will be displayed on this page. Tap on Account Info. Select Recent Activity option under Account Security. On the next page, right where you can see something suspicious level. Tap on Change your password. Enter the new password that you are trying to change for your AOL Mail account. Once you are done, tap Continue. You can also add a recovery method to make sure that you always have access to your account by adding a recovery email for your AOL Mail account. You can add email or mobile number for extra security. Or you can tap on Remind Me Later to do this later on. That is how you have successfully changed your password for your AOL Mail account. Next time you log into your account, when it asks for your credentials, make sure to type in your email and the new password that you just changed to. That is how you can easily change your AOL Mail password using your iPhone by tapping open AOL Mail app and make sure that you're logged into your account. Once you're in, as you go see at the upper left hand corner right underneath inbox, you'll be able to see your username displayed. Your AOL username is one of a kind identifier that grants you access to premium service such as AOL Mail. Your username is the initial element of the email address before the address sign of AOL email account. If you want to change your username for AOL Mail, remember that Unfortunately, you won't be able to change or modify your username once it's been created. If you want a different username, then you'll need to start and create a new account altogether with a new username. But instead of that, if you want to change your nickname, go and tap on the AOL icon at the upper left hand corner. Tap on Manage Account from the expanded menu and now tap on Account Info. Select Personal Info option and give it a tap. From the Personal Info tab, tap on Edit right next to it. Now tap on Nickname and enter the nickname that you want to change to by deleting the current one and finally tap on Done at the upper right hand corner. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to change your nickname for AOL Mail. But as I mentioned earlier, if you want to change your username, you'll need to go create a new account by deleting this current one and start fresh with a new username. If you want to mass delete emails on AOL using your iPhone, then simply tap open your AOL Mail app and make sure that you're logged in. Now simply tap on the inbox button at the bottom left hand corner and you'll be able to land in in your inbox page. To mass delete emails that are available on your inbox, tap on the circle located at the top where you can see the today label. If you tap on that, you'll be able to check all the emails that you received today. Similarly, you can also go ahead and tap on the yesterday label. And if you do that, you'll be able to select a mass amount of emails from your AOL inbox. Now tap the delete button located at the bottom left hand corner. And as you can see that you've deleted your mail in bulk. That is how it can be done to your AOL mail application. First, make sure that you download the app on a mobile device. If not, go visit your app store and download AOL Mail by searching it in into the search bar. Once you have the application downloaded, tap it on to launch it on. Now, this is the main home page of AOL Mail. I'm not yet signed into my account. In order to do that, tap on the human figure at the upper left hand corner. In the expanded menu, click sign in. You can select an account that you've recently logged out or you can also add a new account by tapping on add account. You'll 
you'll be taken to the login screen for AOL. Go ahead and enter the Yushi name or email that is associated with your AOL mail account into the text box. Once you enter your credential, tap the next button. But in case you've forgotten your Yushi name or your email or even your mobile number, tap on Forgot Yushi Name link right beneath the next button. Once you tap next, and your credential is correct, you can enter your password on the next page. While typing in your password, make sure that you are typing in the correct one. In case you don't remember your password, tap on Forgot Password link beneath the next button and follow the on-screen prompts to look for your password. Finally, after you are done entering your credentials and you're ready to log in, tap the next button and wait for a few seconds. As you can see that, I've been taken to this news page for AOL Mail. You have been logged into your account as well. To find your other information, for example your profile settings, tap on the AOL figure at the upper left hand corner and there you have successfully been logged into your AOL Mail account. As you can see that, my account information is displayed at the top. That is how you can quickly log in or sign into AOL. If you are trying to log into your AOL mail account, but you've forgotten your password for your account and are stuck in the login area, then follow these steps. Make sure to open up AOL mail app and from the main homepage, tap the human icon located at the upper left hand corner and tap on the sign in button in the expanded pop up menu. You'll be able to open up a web browser where you can see the sign in area for your AOL mail account. Go ahead and type in your username, your email or your mobile number associated with your AOL mail account. Once you do that, tap next. Right where you can see the password box, if you remember the password during the process, type it in in the password text box. But in case you've forgotten your password and you'd like to recover your account, tap on forgot password link right beneath the next button. You need to verify with a code that will be sent to your mobile number associated with AOL mail account. Tap on yes, send me your code. Or if you don't have the mobile number available to you, then tap on try another way to sign in. I would like to receive a verification code on my phone number so let me tap on yes send me a code on the next page you need to type in the six characters code that will be sent to your mobile number once you receive the number paste it in or type it in and finally tap verify on the next page you'll get to choose or create a new password for your account type in the new password that you'd like to reset to into the text box. Once you type in the password that you can easily remember, tap the continue button. You can choose to update your password for the system so that next time you can easily log into your account without having to type in these information by tapping on update password. Once you do that on the next page, if you want to add a recovery method to your account to keep it secure, you can go ahead and enter a recovery email. By adding a recovery email, you'll be able to recover your account if you lose access to your login information next time you try to log in with the account. You can skip this step for now by tapping on remind me later or simply tap on add email or mobile number and follow the on-screen prompts. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to recover your AOL mail account's password right away.